Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dark Side Detective Season 2. I fumble in the dark. Let's head back into the hallway. We have these knitting needles, and I think that'll get us a key in the laundry room. So let's try that. Okay, the paper's in place. Let's poke this key out. You received item a closet key. Let's see what's in here, then. Wait, does he live in here? Have you seen the rental market? Something cozy like this is a find. There's a dresser here. Normal enough stuff. Socks, pants, vests, and a black cape with red velvet lining and high collar. Wait, one of those things was not as normal as the others. Oh, there's a set of keys in here. They could be useful. Smelly keys. A set of dirty, stinky keys. I like it. It's homey. A homely. There's some books. A stack of self-help books. They look recently purchased. A class photo. It must be Seamus's. Looks like he graduated alone. No, wait. Look at the clothes. There are others there, all right. They're just invisible. The plaque says... Class of 1809, E. Bathory, C. Orlock, V. Tepez, and S. Murphy, C. Count, M. Karnstein, D. DeLioncourt. So, Seamus Murphy, Vlad Tepez, Count Orlock, Elizabeth Bathory. I don't know about C. Count or M. Karnstein or D. DeLion L. DeLioncourt. S. Murphy, that's our Seamus, the caretaker. Who? The caretaker. We're in his room. Caretaker? What caretaker? The guy in your nan's closet hanging upside down? Not ringing any bells. Sorry, detective. Received item, a class photo. A photo of some clo floating clothes, invisible people. And religious stuff. It's a collection of religious icons from a number of faiths. Who keeps garlic on their wall? It's pretty loose, so not this guy anymore. Cheer up, Lamp. It can't rain all the time. Eric? What? No. Looks like an inversion chin bar, but without the leg cuffs. If going by is hanging upside down in your nan's closet is anything to go by, that and the lack of a bed in here, I think he sleeps on that. Uncomfortable, but impressive. Rubbish bin. It's empty. But there are bits of torn up mail all around it. Uh, whoever, whatever post he got, he must have thrown it out. Might be important. A clove of garlic from Seamus' room. He must love the stuff. I like garlic, but hanging it in your room? Even I know that that's not normal. That's that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, about unlocking these bins. All right, let's see what's in these. Oh, all right. Not seeing anything he here. What about you, Dooley? What? Oh, uh, no. You weren't looking, were you? Look, you know I wasn't looking. I know I wasn't looking, but you can't prove anything. So let's move on, yeah? Mm -hmm. What about the second bit? Well, that is just filled with thrown away teeth. Nightmare fuel. Hmm, there's a copy of the Media Magazine variation in here. It has a note attached. Just wanted to share the good news. V. Interesting. Received item of film previews. This issue's main focus seems to be on a film about Dracula that's coming out. Dracula? He's a famous vampire, based, based off an old European count, Vlad Tepes. Name doesn't ring a bell. Where would I have met him? I mean, you wouldn't have met him. He died centuries ago. Oh, okay, I understand. Right, so do we go to Europe and arrest him, or is there a Twin Lakes PD EU spinoff show? We're not, we're not arresting him. So we just let him get away with it? Away with what? It's just a story. Hmm, sure. 
That's what they say about the platypus. But I know it's out there. I'll find you yet, you duck-faced raccoon. Oh, I like a duck-faced beaver. I wonder if we can use the uh, credit card in any of these rooms. This lock is too sturdy. Maybe a weaker one? Okay, what about uh, these? I don't think that's the right place to explore. All right, then uh, this one. Sorry, guy, I gotta come in and make sure you're not doing anything dangerous in there. What, who are you? How did you get in here? Yeah, I guess you're in now. No point in trying to chase you off. What do you want? You better not be eyeing my stuff, youngster. I've fought off clamier fans than you. There's very little risk of that. Is this a classic, it came from outside the ship episode of F Space Hop? Yes, that's the one. Huh. Special effects back then weren't what they, weren't that advanced. So they actually had to have me dragged out of an airlock by a tentacle for this stunt. Oh. Wait, I know that image. It's a scene from the classic Space Hop episode of Blurry Sky Blob. What do you want? Why did you pretend to be deaf? Because I don't want to get dragged into everyone's drama out there. It's mayhem, not for me, that nonsense. Why aren't you out causing trouble with the others? I caused all my trouble when I was a young lad like you two. I'm happy with my lot. No regrets from old Stan, no siree. All right, goodbye. That's where the magic happens. Car tricks, spoon bending, and disappearing coins. Though that last one is just me dropping money down the back of the bed. A red shirt. You're a fan of Space Hop, then? Yeah, you too, eh? A fan of it? I was in it. Wait, you're not. Stand Man, the original red shirt. No, way, Dooley. This guy got killed off every week. Then he'd be back the following week with no explanation. Confusingly worded contracts, that's your explanation. Wow, the magic of show business. Say, you want to take that shirt as a souvenir? Yeah, I have a load of them. One for each death. Yes, please. Received item a red shirt. It's pretty cool that Stan was in Space Hop, eh? I loved that show when I was a teen. Did you ever watch it? No, I was too busy dating. I forget how that works. You boys look hungry. Let me get you something to eat. We're okay. We already have these sandwich. Now, now, you're nearly fading away. Yay! Well, you know, I mean, I guess I could have uh, lots of sandwiches and uh, tea. Oh, garlic, my fave. But it's too late for a snack. Does this mean anything to you? Other than you broke into my room and stole something? Yes, clearly apart from that. That was evident. Novelty photo from a fair I went to last summer with some old college mates. It's all fake. Hmm. There's something here I'm missing. I feel like I have all the pieces, but I just haven't put it all together yet. Recognize this? That old lettuce? No, the magazine that the lettuce is on. Not mine. I don't really care for the silver screen. There's something here I'm missing. I just... I feel like I have to... I have all the pieces, but I just haven't put it all together yet. Wait, Vlad Tepes. That must be V. Tepes from Seamus' class photo. He's getting a film made about his life. Maybe that has something to do with all this. Let's go ask Seamus. 
evidence. So a film about Dracula, Vlad Tepes, is being made and Seamus, the caretaker, was sent a letter by V. Tepes informing him of this. Plus, Seamus' class photo supposedly shows him and this V. Tepes in college, but not showing up in the photo. I think it's time to talk to Seamus. Why is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula real? Eh. Are you... Are you a vampire? I mean, define vampire. Blood-sucking monster. First of all, monster is a loaded term. And not all vampires drain blood. That's just song... Sanguinarians. They're emotional vampires, too. And reverse versions of both. I'm a reverse emotional vampire. People feel what I feel. Wait, how does a reverse sanguinarian... Sanguinarian work? Fairly disgustingly. At best, it's a guy in an alley offering you, you a sack of blood. Ugh. I don't want to know what the worst case is. So wait, if you're a reverse emotional vampire and everyone here is acting up, when Vlad sent me his film stuff, I started thinking, what am I doing with my life? Everyone else is so famous and respected. I'm just the, this caretaker, you know? Maybe I need to change what I'm doing, you know? You're having a mid on life crisis, so everyone here is having one too. Yeah, sorry about that. Not much I can do to change it. Okay, Dooley. All we need to do is cheer this guy up, and everyone will stop acting like loons. Do you want, uh, sandwiches? No. Oh, no, no, no. I can put my hip out doing that. All right, so do we need to put on like a little show thing? Is there anything else that we've... Uh, hmm, the lights are back on in the staff room. The snoring has stopped too. I didn't want to say, but that snoring, right? It was something else. No wonder everybody is off the rocker. The real mystery is probably sleep deprivation. Some keys. A set of strange-looking keys. They're mine, my hex keys. I use them to curse people and build flat-pack furniture. I sense you're going to need them, so you can have them if you promise to bring them back. I don't think we've ever returned... Shh, Dooley, of course we'll bring them back. Right back, as soon as we're done. I sense that you won't. Ah, oh, man, this guy is spooky. One of Alan's hex keys. As in Alan. Whiteboard. Seems to be the staff rota. Some post-its, too. Sue says the next coven meeting has been moved to the community hall, uh, as the community hall was booked by the local Illuminati chapter. Wang rang it to say he's out of uh, Ylang Lang. Fine practice voodoo doll. Martin says he's all pins and needles since the last session, and not in the good way. Yeah, they could be anyone's private, by the way. Notes. Uh-huh. There's a podium. This is like the podium back at the station, except it doesn't have McQueen Smooch's spooks carved into it. God damn it, McKing! Yeah, McKing. <laughs> Somebody left a toolbox here. Oh, Seamus was trying to fix the vending machine. He must have forgotten to tidy up in all the chaos. I wonder if there's anything of interest in here. Oh, maybe the screwdriver. Screwdriver? More like a stake driver, am I right? You know he's a vampire, right? That's really offensive. I realized as soon as I said it. I feel terrible. A Phillips head screwdriver. What's wrong with Phillips head that he needs a special screwdriver for it? That joke was labored and weird. Is it funnier now that it has been called out? I don't know. Wait, there's no food in here. It's just clean socks, religious tomes, and rhyming couplet predictions. Ah, damn. Things bust. Ah, damn things bust. Uh, listen, the brown-cloaked man will get this place out of a jam with a gift. Spirits will be lifted. Sure, it's accurate, but those are some dirty rhymes. Jeez. You like? You can take it home if, you, if, you, if you'd like. My little gift to you. Thanks, but it's him who's more into taking items. Oh, he cannot have it. It is not for him. Aww, I want it. I wouldn't drink that. I'm building up my tolerance of eater for a trip to Midgard. Normal visiting hours are almost done, which means it's almost conjugal time. Ugh. 
various notices for staff. Please don't smuggle the elderly out for raves. Stop stealing dentures, we're going to find you. Practicing witchcraft on or for the patients is frowned upon. <laughs> of course they'd say that. A large white throw, rug-like throw. What kind of animal is this? The unclassified kind. I killed that baby when I was on my Erasmus scholarship to the lost city of Z. Received item, a white throw. A white rug made from an animal. It's mystical, so no pixel bears were harmed in making it. Which doctor? Doctor, any opinion on any opinions on what's happening here? Happening here? Everything seems pretty normal to me. What? Everyone is acting like wild teenagers. How can you think that's normal? Teenagers are pretty wild, man. Yeah, but old people aren't. You just said they were. You're making no sense. You don't know what you're talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm the resident medical expert, after all. You mean medical expert, surely? I mean what I said. Now let me go back to my mat, my nap before I make a voodoo doll out of all of these parking tickets I have in my pocket. Also worrying. All right, well, let's see if I can use the uh, hex key on the self-assembly table. This is the right tool I need for, to build the table, but I should bring this lot to wherever I want to set it up first. Hmm. Why isn't our staff room as romantic as this? Because your staff room doesn't have a me in it. You're welcome, baby. Okay. Alright, so we need to cheer him up somehow. Um... I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. More cups of tea and more sandwiches. There's no meat on those bo bones. Boys, you need to eat something. We really don't need... I won't hear a no for an answer. Okay, then. Alright, so we're going to do the uh, table in here. I'd offer to knit you a jumper, but I don't like knitting. It's why I didn't complain when you took the needles. Uh, aren't you knitting right now? Uh, did you know he was a vampire? Was? He still is a vampire. Anyway, at my age, you learn that none of that stuff matters. You just... It's just nice to have a friend. How does one undepress a vampire? I don't know. Throw them a party with all their friends and loved ones? That might work, actually. But where? Everywhere around here is a mess. Hmm. Out here might do for an award party. What do we need to jazz the place up? Well, in my mind, it's not a party without food and drink. I guess if it's an award thing, we need a red carpet. And a way to get him out here. What do we know about reverse vampires? Oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention when Doris told us last season. I can't recall either. Uh, well, his room suggested daytime good, night bad, and pro-garlic. You know, the reverse of normal vampire things. Can you write all that down, Dooley? Sure, food, drink, other things Dooley likes. Check and check. Fine, I'll make the list. You can even ask me if you want proof. What's left on the list, party planner Dooley? Seamus is a reverse vampire, so we need it to look like it's daytime out here. We'll want tea if we want the old-timers to come out for the ceremony. These things need finger food, preferably something Seamus would eat to help lure him out. If you want him to really feel special, there needs to be a red carpet. Okay, let's get to it. It's red, but it doesn't really pass for a carpet. We need to find something more carpety. Can't throw a party without a finger food for the guest of honor. And garlic sandwiches. Mm. The smell of these should lure Seamus out to the courtyard. With the added bonus of disappointing everyone else. Alright, let's set up the table. 
Seems to be the right place needed to build this. Let's give it a go. Cool, you do that and I'll uh, keep watch. Right, let's see what we have here. Some legs, a top, and a few holding together bits. I just have to follow the instructions to assemble. Okay, so the instructions are in Swedish, no problem. I'll just use the picture. Easy, right? Oh, goody. That seems like a mini game, and that is going to have to wait until next time. Because we're. we might be a little borked. Probably not, though. We'll see you next time, everyone.